You're on now, Margaret, I think. I am? Yes, you are. So the whole, the other session was totally not, not on. I, I don't know what happened. Hey. Uh, was I on? Is with you. Was I on Instagram, at yes. least? Okay. So, okay, can you get this? <laughs> okay, so if, if for any reason you guys were watching and we thought that we were not on, I apologize because we're going to probably start over again. Um, but if you can... Um, okay, there's people. <laughs> okay, finally, we're on. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna get started again. Uh, where's my prop here? Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I don't think I would ever be able to work in the <clears throat> television and do live shows. And you definitely need a good um, equipment and good crew. Okay, let's start over again. I'm sorry, Instagram people, it might be boring for you. Because you might have to listen again. And I'm... So, hey, hey. How's it going there? Okay, I'm going to start my official segment. Um, unless my... Somebody here... What? Drum roll. Drum roll. <laughs> and I, I, I'm sorry, I only drank tea, trust me. Uh, but... I'm, I'm giggling. Sorry. I hope you guys have time and patience for me today. Okay. I'm going to start an official segment that's going to go on YouTube. Um, edit it. Hello, my name is Margaret. I'm from Blue Monkey Tea Company in Pittsburgh. And I'm welcoming you to today's segment of Tea Saturdays Live. Uh, today, I will be talking about winter teas. Teas are, that are great for this time of the year. And um, I'm also going to have a couple guests in my studio, <clears throat> my tea studio. One, <clears throat> one of them is Krampus, because today is December 5th. It's a Krampusnacht. Um, tomorrow is December 6th, and it's the same next day. Uh, which is celebrated all over Europe, and it's become a little pop more popular here in America as well. So we have uh, Santa Claus is still, you know, working, gathering his little goodies for kids because he's going to be very busy today. I'm sorry, saying Nick, saying Nick. and But there's a connection, you know, it's the same guy that comes on Christmas night and, you know, on cr Christmas Eve. And uh, so anyway, if you celebrate, if you observe St. Nick's Day on December 6th, uh, you should put your shoes near your bed on December 5th before you go to bed. And then you might find some kind of uh, gift or maybe it's some kind of sweet in the morning. I love that. When I grew up in Poland, we always did that. My brother and I were so excited about that. And... Uh, it's a, it's a nice tradition. However, also um, started be known in uh, Germany mostly um, the idea of Krampus, this guy here, 
half goat, half devil. Krampus is a bad guy. He comes on the night before and he looks for those naughty children to punish them. And obviously we know that those children are not going to be getting anything in their shoes. So have you guys been good or have you been naughty? Uh, I'm going to pause for a second to say hi to people that finally I see. Um, hi, Julian. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Paula. Hi, John. Um, hi, Sharon. And I know there's more people on Instagram. Um, hi, Diane613. And uh, everybody else. And I apologize for this uh, delay. We had some technical difficulties because Facebook decided to change their, um, you know, um, face again. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> There's uh, always improvements, which make drive me crazy. And all these uh, software applications and stores, they always make things, they improve things and then just get worse and harder to use, right? Right. Yeah, he said, right. Okay, so uh, today, let's talk about those nice, comforting, warming, and healthy teas that we can enjoy during this cold season. Uh, the days are getting shorter. Um, it, it gets dark um, early. It's a little depressing. Uh, so why not have a nice cup of hot tea? Um, tea is good for winter mornings and herbs or decaffeinated teas will be nice for um, winter evening especially to be enjoyed if in front of the fireplace, if you have one. The, um, oh, let's not forget today, I want to mention, um, because tomorrow is St. Nick's Day, um, we're going to have a little surprise for a few people. We're going to draw five names and um, I'm going to ask St. Nick, to deliver special gift to you you will see it in your um it will be you will be notified when you get it so just uh, you when you wake up in the morning uh you might want to check our facebook page and instagram um uh, and um saint nick will send you a message <laughs> okay so tea will warm us tea will cheer us uh, tea will give us energy boost and also will give us some um, nice um, ingredients that will improve our um, health and immune, give us immune boost. Uh, but some teas we just like to enjoy because of the flavor and aroma. And I have here in front of me a chestnut tea. Chestnut tea is... Uh, one of our pop, the most popular tea sold in fall and winter. And just the name, doesn't it sound delicious? Aroma. Oh, so amazing, so comforting. And um, here's some cups Victoria brewed before she left. I'm um, not sure exactly what it is, but we'll get to it. So this is chestnut tea. And when I... Um, when I, uh, see, I don't have lemons, but you can enjoy just any tea. It could be a black tea like Assam, um, English breakfast, Pittsburgh breakfast, um, and just add a slice of lemon and uh, some honey or sugar or nothing. Just a slice of lemon. It's going to make it very... Um, delicious and also lemon will give you uh, quite a bit of vitamins so um, I, re I totally recommend any tea with lemon and that's something I um, grew up with because in Poland we always had tea with lemon and sugar and it was always a black tea um, so let's see I can make a little bit of this try this Um, is there lemons anywhere? Or can we have some cut slice? There, I put them in the back on the counter. Because <laughs> I, I want to show you my favorite tea. is a black tea. You know I love black tea. 
this tea here will stay warm for a long time. And that little tea light, they usually last about what, one hour or even longer. They do a really good job on warming up teas. And we're going to add some honey. And uh, my favorite is lemon. Let's do that. And I'm waiting for my lemons. Put this here. Um, I'm going to, uh, so when I talk about teas, uh, let's talk first about teas with real tea, with the real tea in it. This is, by the way, a uh, mug for Krampus. I thought the skull mug you would like, right? Do you, do you like skull? He shakes his head. Okay. And, uh, First up, what's good about real tea? Real tea, especially green tea, has a lot of antioxidants. Oh, look who's here. Ho, ho, ho. Well, hello, sir. Would you like to join us here for a few minutes before you head off again to deliver toys to uh, children? Here is St. Nick. Ho, ho, ho. Hello, hello. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> and he's Krampus, our buddy. Hey, Krampus. Yeah, you. This guy fetishes children, and this guy gives them presents, right? Ooh, that lemon smells so good. So, and I have a tea for you too, Saint Nick. Let's just put that. I don't like the drink through my beard. <laughs> okay, I don't have a spoon to stir, but it's good. very comforting. So, this was uh, chestnut tea with um, lemon and uh, a little bit of honey, but uh, any black tea with lemon and honey will taste much better. I think we're gonna take the hat off. <laughs> I've done it once already. Okay, so how's it going? It goes well. Okay, any, any good children out there? Do you have a lot of work tonight? There's many. Okay. Because... And more than that. This guy here, he might punish some of the children that you may have less work to do. He won't be busy this year. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. Um, all right. So, I have... puppet compared to me. So, I have lemon, lemon tea with lemon here. Just find it and put it away, please. Okay, thank you. Um... Uh, okay, so let me let me talk a little bit about uh, some really good teas that we have. Um, speaking of German tradition, Krampus, uh, let's talk about German gingerbread tea. So this is um, warm ginger, sweet cinnamon notes, um, incredible aroma, and uh, he probably would love this tea. And uh, let's talk about a little bit about gingerbread in Germany because um, making gingerbread in Germany is a serious business. Germans um, take that gingerbread uh, tradition very seriously. They call gingerbread Lebkuchen. Can I have Lebkuchen? No. This is an um, example of uh, Lebkuchen from actually Nuremberg. And believe it or not, but in here, just can you show the <laughs> Okay. Yummy. Melissa says hi, Santa. Hello, <laughs> so, Melissa. What would you like for Christmas? Let's just put this. I don't think you can see. But, um, may I have my hat? I, I feel better in my hat. I think I look better. Thank you very much. How do I look? Wonderful. How do I look? I think he's, uh, is he sleeping? So, um, 
1643, a city of Nuremberg in Germany officially recognized the profession of gingerbread baking and even created an official guild, guild of such. They even developed a code of strict guidelines for bakers that they had to follow in order to legally bake and sell gingerbread. So that's how serious Germans are about their gingerbread. And we have another gingerbread specialty from Germany. It's called Speculatius. And this is also German. These are German biscuits, uh, cookies, and they have a uh, beautiful design on them. Very, very yummy, very crispy. Uh, we sell them every year here around holidays. And then can I see cake, please? Speaking of German things, um, we have a lot of marzipan uh, stuff. And one of them is actually uh, luxury marzipan stolen. You know, have you seen that? Have you had that? This is amazing fruit cake with marzipan filling inside the cake. Yum, yum. Too bad you can't eat Santa with your beard, but I can. Oh my God. Oh, so good. So, one tea, very popular this time of the year is uh, German gingerbread. And it's as delicious as the Lepko hands themselves. Let's drink some chestnut tea. Okay, where's my chestnut tea? Here. Ginger cookie from Germany and um, chestnut tea. Perfect combination, perfect combo. I'm done with that, thank you. So you said the last <laughs> okay, next, Clementine Clove. Need I say more? This is black tea that has orange pieces, cinnamon cloves. Mm -hmm. mm, delicious. Oh, just the aroma itself is amazing. Clementine clove. These are black teas. German, ger German gingerbread and clementine clove. These are uh, regular black teas. Um, we also sell green tea. I um, don't have it on the table. It's called Enchanted Forest. And it um, has aroma and taste of uh, black forest cherry cake. Have you ever had black forest cherry cake? Maybe Santa can give me that too, because it's like right next to you, on the right here above your head. It says Yerba Mata. Oh, well, but mostly green tea. So this is that green tea, perfect for this time of the year. It's called Enchanted Forest. Uh, cherry, almond, very, very yummy. And also a lot of uh, health benefits because there's green tea with a lot of antioxidants in it. And then we have Sencha Almond Fir Tree. Hey, how would you know? My assistant today is Santa. Um, and then, so these, these would be nice teas for like winter morning or during the day, um, any time of the day. And uh, <laughs> is this your favorite tea, Nick? They are all my favorite. <laughs> it's Santa's choice. He brought me candy cane burst. Black tea, candy cane pieces, peppermint, of course, strawberry leaves. Leaves. I want to introduce you to Sencha Almond Fir Tree. This is beautiful. It has actual orange um, peel, actually not just peel, orange slices in it. It has a red peppercorn, which makes it really pretty. And it also has almonds. So as you see, a lot of those winter teas will have almonds, orange, oranges, lemon or lemon flavor, 
and uh, chestnut. Sounds good. Um, now, if we t if we um, talking about evening teas, you okay there, Krampus? Oh, he's moving. Oh. So, talking about evening, uh, I will. Can you put this away, please? Cran cranberry apple. Um, let's see if we have it on the table. This is echinacea cranberry, but we have cranberry apple tea. Uh, I would love to show you. So this is amazing, caffeine-free, very fruity. It actually has apples and cranberries. Um, so hibiscus, elderberries, and rosehip. So you have we you actually have natural fruit ingredients in this tea, not just flavor, and therefore it's um, the cranberry apples. <laughs> Zanda, <laughs> he keeps finding teas to show. Sugar plum pudding. That's uh, black tea, corn flowers, raspberry raspberry pieces, and red plum petals but also has plum flavor. Ah, going back to cranberry apple, this, this tea, like I said, it's uh, fantastic. And it has real apple pieces, hibiscus, rose hip, elderberry, and cranberry pieces. Ooh. Okay. Let's just leave it here for a moment so you can take a look. And um, another one of the favorites, winter solstice winter solstice uh we've probably carried it for <laughs> okay thank you promoting christmas joy it's not about christmas teas i know you like christmas santa but we're talking about winter teas today okay vienna eggnog um black tea cinnamon ginger clove um yum 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 thank you thank you it's about winter teas, not just Christmas and St. Nick's Day. I think Nick is a little rowdy. <laughs> so winter solstice, let's go back. It's coming up, guys. Today is December 5th. What do we have? About 15 more days, a little bit over two weeks. And the day will start getting longer. <laughs> Uh, but this tea will be great comforting tea. Well, it's actually not real tea. It's caffeine-free blend uh, for um, all winter to come. And amazing apple, orange peel, hibiscus, blackberry. I, this tea even has carrots. <laughs> okay, Santa's very sad because he found, ooh, he found empty jar. Did you, did you drink it all? Krampus, Santa drank this whole tea. Okay, Santa's milk and cookies. And no worries, it's coming back. I ordered from another Nick. Uh, winter solstice, solstice tea has also carrots. I can't believe it. Maybe we can use it for Easter. Uh, cranberries, pomegranate. Uh, wow. I wish I could show you this up close because it's amazing. This is good. I just need to scoop it up with something. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And it's caffeine free. break to say hello to everyone again Cindy hello um, and everybody else who's watching I see a few people a few more people on inst Instagram okay we're done with this thank you very much uh, winter palace marzipan rooibos this is all-time favorite and especially especially in winter as the name says winter palace marzipan rooibos Rooibos is caffeine free. If you watch my other episode on uh, rooibos tea, it comes from South Africa, 
and it's a caffeine-free herb. And can I see Winter Palace Mars and Rooibos? Very smooth taste. Um, it's really hard to describe. I just, I guess you guys have to just go on the website and buy it or come here to the shop. Speaking of website, www.bluemonkeytea.com www.bluemonkeytea.com and um, yeah, I'm just going to show this real quick. Thank you very much, Nick. So you can buy all these teas, of course, on our website and we only charge $5 for shipping in case you forgot. This is that um, rooibos red tea winter palace marzipan. It has real almonds in it. It's amazing. Okay. Another prop. I guess I'm gonna have this here instead of Santa. Now there's a lot of herbs. Um, before I move to, there's a lot of single herbs that you can uh, use. <laughs> That's fine. That you can. Can you sit here, Nick? Uh, a lot of herbs that you can use by themselves, they're very healthy and good for the winter season, or you can blend them. Um, and such herbs are elderberries, um, echinacea, ginger, sage, thyme, uh, tulsi, otherwise called holy basil, linden flowers, rose hip, um, and turmeric. Um, Quite a few. In fact, in key, instead of trying to remember all these separately, I'm going to show you a blend called Flu Fighter. And this blend incorporates a lot of uh, these ingredients already. It has green tea, echinacea. Well, this is not caffeine free because it has a little bit of green tea, but that green tea is good for you because it gives you all these goodies, antioxidants, and also green tea itself um, is. Uh, good for immune boost and it also have has echinacea elderberries rose hips mango goji berries sage um, and it tastes very very yummy so this is um, another one already a blend of different nice healthy winter her herbs okay are you still with me what am i drinking here This is a sum. Uh, okay. Now, you can also make very nice, simple um, infusion, herbal infusion, like literally just using ginger. Do we have any ginger? Or can we have ginger? It's still up there. <laughs> and I'm going to need some hot water. Uh, chai, chai, which basically means <clears throat> tea made with um, special spices, is also a great um, uh, option for um, this time of the year. And not only you can make chai uh, just in a cup, um, you know, brew it as a regular tea, but you could make chai latte. Um, so chai basically is a black tea with added spices such as ginger, cardamom, um, coriander, clove, um, sometimes some other spices. And the traditional Indian way of preparing chai is to actually boil these spices in um, half water, half milk um, for a little bit of like maybe 10 minutes or so, and then straining it. So you use these spices along with black tea and milk and boil them together. Now, there's easier ways of preparing chai. Um, you can literally just um, buy a mix. We have several different chais and this particular chai is called masala chai. It has um, black tea, cardamom, ginger, cloves, and cinnamon. And um, instead of like mixing tea and spices, you already have uh, ready to go chai mix. And uh, going back to this ginger lemon infusion, uh, 
It's so simple and it's so comforting. I actually got prepared to show you. We could use a could use a infuser. So I will use this uh, tea ball here. But you can also boil it. You can boil it in a uh, little pot, simmer for about 10 minutes. Just mix about two teaspoons of ginger. Ginger is very powerful. It's very strong. So, and dry ginger actually is better, um, has uh, better quality. You get a lot, extract more out of it because the cell walls are already broken. Well, when you use fresh ginger, it has, it contains a lot of water in it. So, uh, apparently the dry ginger is uh, more potent than fresh. Okay. Let's use this mug. Yeah. Let's move these delicious, tempting lab cool hands out of my way. And I am using ginger. Just ginger, ginger root. And it's it's an herb, so I'm using hot water and we're going to steep at least six minutes or longer. The longer you steep, actually with herbs, uh, there's no over steeping usually. And uh, the longer you steep, the, the stronger they get. So let's steep our ginger here. Um, I'm going to leave this jar here for, for a minute or so so you see what I'm using. Um, I back go back to chai. Um, chai latte, I will do a little demo at the end of the session how to make chai latte. You can also make latte with um, Earl Grey and you will you would create London fog like tea. I was trying to come up with the Pittsburgh fog and uh, it's in the making. Uh, chocolate, very good add on, makes you happy and comfortable. So you can, uh, we have a lot of chocolate teas, uh, well like chocolate mint rooibos, uh, chocolate truffle rooibos, we have chocolate tea, black tea with chocolate chips, all those teas. Whoops, what happened? <laughs> I, I, I'm injured on the job. What, what fell on me? Oh, the monkey. Okay, the monkey. Okay, have you been good? Apparently not because you just fell on my head. And I, I guess, hey, Krampus, Santa's misbehaving. Did you know that? Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm talking about adding chocolate to your tea. So this is uh, cocoa powder. And you can definitely just add it to your um, any tea, just mix it in. Or you can uh, make a, you know, just use instant cocoa, mix it, you can mix it half and half. Or sometimes I even take a piece, of, like a little piece of chocolate and add it to my tea and let it melt. And it's also delicious. This is a very good uh, product from Holland. It's a drosty cocoa. Plug him in, plug him in. Oh, here, monkey. Um, so I'm just going to give my ginger brew a few more minutes. I can smell it already. Oh, simple, very simple beverage and delicious, very healthy. Um, mulling spices, you can also add mulling spices to any tea just make it you know a little more interesting um, and you can also add mulling spices to um, apple cider or uh, wine or even juices and we sell all these ingredients and they're very similar to ingredients used in chai so there are cinnamon cloves um, allspice we don't sell allspice but I'm sure you have it in your uh, pantry cloves um, cardamom cinnamon chips oh, star anise yeah I forgot about that 
Thank you. And cloves. No cardamom. Glue vine. Has anybody had glue vine? <laughs> Hi, Sharon. Thanks. Uh, can you guys share too? I, I keep forgetting, but if you can hit that little share button, there are more people who's going to see this video and will, um, you know, help us um, be seen, visible. Krampus, Santa, Margaret. Um, so glue vine, which spells G L U, actually umlau, H W E I N, is a uh, <clears throat> also a uh, classic um, traditional German winter drink. And it's basically made with uh, wine uh, with added uh, mulling spices and fruits such as lemon and orange. So glue vine is usually made with wine, mulling spices and fruits. And uh, but you can there's a tea version of glue vine uh, with um, ice wine. We actually sell ice wine tea, and that could be definitely used in place of um, wine. And uh, another hot, nice hot beverage uh, that is fairly easy to prepare is hot butter rum. And instead of rum, you can use, of course, um, like a regular black tea um, or masala chai. I, I, I developed a version of hot buttered chai. So you can use uh, either the masala chai or a regular classic chai, um, and then uh, you would make it really nice and strong. And then you add a little bit of butter, unsalted butter, honey, honey, and then ground cinnamon and nutmeg. And um, you can, like, of course, make it with rum, uh, or you can make it with tea. The other tea that would make a really nice um, hot butter um, something would be um, also that cranberry apple tea. Possibilities are endless, as you know, my favorite saying. Um, let's not forget about teas in tea bags. We have, can you bring all, can you bring all those? Christmas. Some Republic. We have, uh, we sell Republic of Tea Teas, and um, Santa, I should be Santa's helper, but now Santa is my helper. Um, gingerbread tea, these are teas in tea bags, and it's okay, guys, I know some of you don't do loose leaf tea, or not always have time to prepare loose tea, there's no shame in that, and um, the other tea that um, I love is cinnamon vanilla, from uh, Republic of Tea called, um, they also call it Dream by the Fire Tea. Dream by the Fire Tea. Uh, another great tea from uh, Stash called Chai Spice. Great tea for winter. Um, speaking of honey, it's always good to use local honey because as you know, local honey will uh, build immunity and uh, we have we sell honey from Bedillion, which is very close to us. It's a local um, place, and uh, I love this one. It's called, it's lavender, lavender infused honey. Mm, how about making tea with added lavender honey? And this could also be perfect for that London fog. And I'm going to move some things down. How are you doing, Krampus? Are you comfortable? Are you getting ready to catch some children and punish them? He says he's tired. He might not even go out today. He says all the kids are home now because of the pandemic. Um, okay. Um, I have my ginger tea here, ginger infusion. Um, let me enjoy that. But <laughs> before I do that, let's. Uh, I want to show you our uh, Christmas teas from Republic of Tea. We have 
comfort and joy tea that's uh, blended with spices and fruit. Black tea, this we already showed. Uh, we have um, sip and be merry. Uh, black tea with caramel, vanilla, and cardamom. Uh, we have uh, peppermint bark, that's a green rooibos, so that's caffeine-free, uh, with peppermint, vanilla, and uh, cocoa. Wow, good stuff. There's more of those on the shelf. And then we have uh, golden pumpkin, that's one of the faulties, but it goes well the whole winter. And uh, <laughs> mint spice. Not too many left. So this is a British Christmas thing. Uh, Santa is just bringing me things I wasn't planning on showing, but I'm showing. Here we go. Mint spice. Have you had them? Um, okay. I can't wait for my ginger tea here. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Just ginger, pure ginger root. Makes a beautiful uh, amber, warm, almost looks like honey in a cup. And it's probably going to be even better with honey. But I will add a little bit of lemon to it. This are very big slices, but uh, let's just... Hold on. I'm, I'm trying to enjoy my ginger lemon tea, but someone cut really big slices, jumbo slices of lemon. And let's put some honey in it. stir it up but I'm sure it will be good like this oh so rich so warm like not just warm hot but the ginger is creating this amazing warm feeling like fuzzy feeling in my mouth perfect Santa would you like some Oh my I gosh, agree. this is so my good. Beard creates a fuzzy feeling. <clears throat> ah, ginger. Ginger and lemon, that's all. Um, my hands are a little sticky from honey, but I would like to, be, before I forget, I just want to share about this wonderful thing. <laughs> we just received a first batch of the uh, Star Wars teas. Um, so we have... Um, it's called Mandalorian. Mandalorian. This is the child green tea, and it has little Yoda on it. How about that? Isn't that cute? And then we have um, uh, Mandalorian uh, mysterious black tea, and we have uh, Mandalorian warrior herb tea. It's a lady. So. These are uh, not, not most of our Republic of Tea Teas are only available in the store <clears throat> or, by, <clears throat> or by calling us. I already have that one. <laughs> but, you want to see? but these are actually available on our website. And I just ordered another shipment because they are going fast. So thank you. Thank you, Santa. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Luke. <laughs> uh, and if, if I didn't say hi to somebody, I apologize. Oh, I should be advertising my teas, but this ginger with lemon is so amazing. So amazing. Santa, you can have it. Oh, no, he can't. <laughs> Santa will have some of this tea after the program, right? Unless you ha do you have to head out? Do you need to go? And Adios. And you're going to deliver 
if you guys put your shoes out tonight, he might deliver Merry something. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> okay. Okay. You can go. Or not. <sighs> okay, I'm having fun. I don't know about you. This ginger tea. Oh. Has anybody made this before? Just ginger with lemon and honey. Oh, I will need some help, Santa, before you go. Can you heat up some milk? In uh, I'm gonna I'm going to do demo on how to make a chai latte, and eventually I'm gonna tell you how to make London fog. Okay, this this will be my last uh, dem my last section for today. And uh, that's about it. So today I was talking about all these nice comforting teas and herbs for winter. And I hope I was able to give you some ideas. Um, some are simple. You can just use um, um, you can just use uh, single herbs like elderberries, ginger. Um, uh, you can use. Um, Someone is distracting me. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, we need to heat up milk, um, like half a cup. And we also need to, uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll, uh, I'm, okay. Uh, so I, I was going to uh, wrap it up just saying that um, there's many, many options for winter, but winter can be really good if you drink tea and herbs. Um, you can drink nice uh, regular teas with maybe yummy flavors like cinnamon, clove, orange um, in the morning, during the day. Um, hey, there's nothing wrong with drinking just regular black tea because I know a lot of you just like regular non-flavor black teas or green tea because green tea is very healthy, gives you that antioxidant boost. Um, and then maybe in the afternoon, evening, you can be sitting in front of the, uh, your um, fireplace or in front of the TV with a fireplace on it because you can watch TV. There, there's like a feature where you can like watch things like sceneries or like fire, play, fire in the fireplace. And or you can just get this lovely tea warmer, which is at the same time very um, ambience creating, um, wonderful ambience creating um, item. It's not not only nice and warm, but it also very uh, pleasant to look at instead of the big fireplace, right? Oh, that ginger tea. Chai latte, how to make chai latte. So we're going to steep, um, I am going to use, um, actually it's not no longer here, but um, let's just make London fog instead of. So I will be using lavender Earl Grey, which is um, Earl Grey with a little bit of lavender, also a little bit of vanilla flavor, but you can, you can also add a little more vanilla to your uh, London Fog. And uh, let's use... Um, I'm improvising a little bit here, as always. Okay, I have a nice empty cup and um, let's measure two teaspoons of lavender Earl Grey. You could do the same thing with chai or pumpkin spice tea. Uh, I'm going to steep it. It's a uh, I'm only going to add about half a cup of water. So I'm making double strength, okay? It's a little more than half, but once I remove the teaspoon, probably about half. Uh, we're going to steep it for four minutes. 
four minutes because it's a black tea. We don't, we don't want to over steep it. And then in the meantime, um, may I have hot milk in the cup? Thank you. Meantime, we heated up um, about half a cup of milk. Um, he, he, we did this in the microwave, but you can do it on the, on the stove top as well. Hi, Lori. <laughs> and while I'm waiting, if you guys have any questions, just throw them my way. Um, I hope I kind of got you like introduced to some more winter tea options today. I say our most popular teas are chestnut, um, chai, um, gingerbread, German gingerbread, and it's favorite of Krampus because he is from Germany. And uh, I told you a little story about how serious, it's too much, too much less than that, how serious are uh, Germans about their gingerbread. Okay, let's just assume this is already four minutes, but it would be nice to steep it four minutes because then you get a good strength and uh, darkness. So this is Lavender Earl Grey. It's called Versailles Lavender Earl Grey, and it's available on our website, www.bluemonkeytea.com. Well, actually, I'm, I'm going to take both. Hot. Right. Hot, hot. Okay, can you move this? Okay. I don't need this. Um, this is amazing thing to have. Uh, not only you can use it to uh, froth your milk for tea or coffee, but you can also use it to froth your matcha. There we go. Nice and frothy. And now we can add it to. Oh, beautiful. Now you can also whip some more cream, like uh, um, heavy cream, and you can um, whisk it also with a uh, frother. Now let's sprinkle. Okay, where are my um, star anise? because I'm using it for my decoration of my London fog. If you, sometimes, if you want your London fog, well, this, this is probably, yeah, I can use it for London fog too, but this would be more like for chai. Um, you can add a little more uh, vanilla extract too, and um, sweeten it with brown sugar or honey, but you would do it before adding milk. Um, you can sprinkle some um, nutmeg on it, but let's say, this is just London fog, and um, let's try. Amazing, <laughs> and I didn't even add any sugar to it. <sighs> oh, delish. So uh, it's okay. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> if I, if it was chai, okay, I would make the same thing with chai. Um, and, um, in fact, you know what, uh, hello assistant, can you whisk some, um, heavy cream in this so we can show how, what it looks like. And then I'm going to spoon it over. So add like about this much and whisk it. So you, you can, huh? Oh, uh, heavy cream, heavy cream. Okay. Because you can add milk. You can froth just milk, but it's even better if you actually froth or whisk some um, heavy cream and just add it on the top. And then we can put um, some before or after um, star anise and maybe sprinkle either a little bit of nutmeg or cocoa. There you go. Perfect. 
How is that? It's really hot. Here you go, Krampus, before you go out. Have some London fog. This is too hard for you to drink. Well, you can at least smell it, right? It smells good. Okay, so um, just one more thing. I'm going to show you how to, uh, well, everybody probably knows how to whisk some heavy cream to put on the top of your drink. Um, but um, you can also, you can use other teas to make those lattes. Like I say, you can use matcha. You can use, um, like I did with um, uh, lavender Earl Grey or just le regular Earl Grey. We have other versions of Earl Grey, for example, Dorian Grey. This might create a really nice Dorian fog because this tea has also caramel in it, so it's going to be delish. And um, chestnut tea probably would create nice chestnut fog. Yeah, if you guys come up with some recipes, um, hopefully with our teas, let us know. Um, I think I will be slowly finishing up this segment. Let's just have some more of my ginger lemon tea. It clears you up too. Like it helps you like clear your uh, nasal passages, I guess. Um, here we go. Is it already whipped? Yes. Okay. So this is uh, heavy cream uh, whipped. And if I, I can use this spoon, but uh, generally remove this you can either like scoop it up and put on the top of your drink oh this is going to be very very yummy so this is a uh, super duper creamy um, thick London fog that I created with lavender Earl Grey oh this is gonna be yummy and let's put some honey to it. If I can have a spoon for stir, that would be great. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for joining today. Um, this will be, uh, this was uh, Margaret from Blue Monkey Tea Company in Pittsburgh um, doing a segment on winter teas. Join me for other uh, segments i'm i'm here live every saturday at 5 30 p.m eastern standard time and also these uh, recordings are being later edited and they go on our youtube channel blue monkey t youtube channel thank you so much be good We're done. We're done. Did you disconnect? I'm done. Done, done. Done, done. <laughs> Thank you for being with us. Hi, Leslie. Sorry. <laughs> I see you.